My name is Sarah Crampton, and this is my thoroughbred cross, Hudson. And through my years of teaching students and training horses, I've often found that people are worried about if their bridle is fitted properly and if your horse is comfortable with it. So I'm going to take you through step by step and show you how the bridle should be adjusted to be most comfortable for your horse and so that the bit hangs properly as well. So let's get started. I always put the reins over the head and neck first to get them out of my way. And I have no idea how this bridle is going to fit in, so this is kind of a good test. It is a cob size bridle, which I have found fits the majority of, of horses, Hudson's 15-2, uh, about 15-2 and under for the most part, with exceptions obviously. And I've also found that grabbing the bridle in front like this with my hand is great for, especially for somebody who is going to not be real cooperative about having the bit put in his mouth. But Hudson should be. He likes his little miler bit. It's a French snaffle. And he's pretty good about getting the bride put on. So let's see how that's going to fit. Now one thing um, that I should mention is um, I really do think it's uh, a great idea to cut a little bridle path so that that crown can sit there nice and flat and not get caught in hairs. Then the first thing I look at is the brow band. You can see Hudson's head, forehead is a little big and it's maybe a little bit too snug there. So ideally I might like to put a little bigger brow band. It's it's acceptable, but you can see it's a little snug behind the ear, so he actually could use a bigger brow band. So let's look at the nose band. This is just a regular cabisson. And the rule of thumb is that you want to get it really close up to this cheekbone piece. And the reason for that is that when you're engaging the reins, if you get this nose band too far down, it's the corner of the bit might pinch against the nose band which would be uncomfortable. So you want to get it up. Uh, rule of thumb is kind of two fingers. Sometimes I go a little bit higher. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that one notch. See how that looks. And then, well, it's pretty good. We've got just, just a finger or so. And then for the snugness of the nose band, I say comfortably snug. And Hudson actually is almost a little too big for this bridle. Let's see, I can get the first hole kind of fine. And then the rule of thumb is to get two fingers in front of the nose band, and you can see it's a little, I'm just, I'm just getting my fingers in there. So if I had another hole, I would punch it a little bit bigger, maybe try a half a hole. But that way, when I engage the reins, it is not going to come anywhere near pinching that nose band. It also looks very nice and neat up that high. A lot of people put their nose bands too low. So we'll tuck the side into the keeper. And this is called the runner to make everything look nice and neat. And let's try the throat latch now. And throat latch, rule of thumb is, go ahead and buckle it somewhere, and then you should be able to get your hand sideways into the throat latch, because you really don't want this to be tight. The only thing that the throat latch does is keeps the bridle from coming off, which you know is not very common, but it can happen. That is the only thing, function of the, the throat latch. We also don't want it tight under um, the throat area, because when we ask the horse to flex, we're hoping this is down out of the way of him flexing nicely to the bit. So to be comfortable for him, that's very important, it's not too tight. Then I'm going to put it in the keeper and the runner, so it looks all nice and wonderful. And now let's check the bit. Just by chance, I have never had this bridle on him before, 
this looks uh, pretty nice, actually. But, um, and the rule of thumb here is we should see a, a wrinkle in the corner of the, of the mouth. Um, and it should feel, it should look like it's snug in the corners of the lips of the mouth. And then have a little wrinkle here for a snaffle bit. So actually, that just happened to work out fine. And Hudson looks very handsome in that brother. Anyway, um, that is kind of the starting point, and I hope that's helpful for you to get a bit on, adjust the pieces correctly, so that uh, your horse is comfortable and the bit is hanging properly in his mouth. Hudson, your thoughts? I think he likes it. <laughs>